Facebook. You got so called the beat. YouTube, YouTube, what's up? The Sean Wiggins BFC back with another video. Raff, raff. <laughs> All right, you already know what time it is, Team Tesla. Team Tesla. Team Tesla. Tesla did not do what I wanted it to do today. Tesla did not do what I wanted it to do today. But of course, you know, we have no control over that. And when the stock go down, it's just a part of the game. And you got to be able to stomach that. All right. So today, my account started off with $1,010. And I was looking for a 2% return, which would have been $20. Leave me with $1,030. But right now, right now, we have $933. As you see, we started off. $1,012 this morning. All right, the account went down 0.72%. It ain't much. I got two positions right now Tesla and Big Commerce. Of course, I don't even know nothing about this company, but I know they did one of these not too long ago. So you get you can you can, you can say I'm one of the uh FOMO people. <laughs> so I got it over here somewhere, and it's gonna take a long little ways before that even happened again because that was like an impeccable. Ooh, ooh, mm. Come on, look at this. No, 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 watch this. August 20th. Okay, August 20th. You, August 20th, right? Look, August 20th. Ooh, right before my birthday. Bang, yo, look at that. I'm going to say it again. Bang. <laughs> That's why I love investing. Okay, getting back to Tesla. Tesla is down 1.78 today. Okay. For the week, it was 16%. That's Tesla. We already know. This little down thing ain't nothing. You guys already know what's about to happen with Tesla. Because we got the battery day coming up. We got battery day coming up. It's going to be, I believe it's September 22nd. The share the shareholders meeting. All right. And we also have, like, Tesla just, they don't surprise me, okay? I just, I'm not surprised, but, you know, I was just watching a video and uh, Tesla been in the works of making a, an electric plane. Not just an electric plane, but a supersonic electric plane. Come on. This guy, yo. I love, I love it. I love it. So what does this mean? This guy just doing some of everything and he's not stopping. Like basically this plane is going to be a plane where it don't even need a runway. It's going to be able to take off and... Phew, but it's going to be electric. Now, one of the things I didn't know, and this is what I love about investing, because you get to learn things as you study these companies. I didn't know that the higher a plane is, like for instance, gas planes, they can't really go that much high in the air because it starts getting harder for the for the engine. Whereas an electric plane, the higher it goes in the air, the better. Come on, I can't break that down, but Elon Musk sure could, okay? And one of the comparisons that they was talking about with the, uh, look, I'm not even moving, I'm sorry, guys, you wanna see it move, right? <laughs> One of, the comp- one of the comparisons they was giving with a new electric plane that Tesla's gonna have compared to the Concorde, which was like a fast plane. Number one, the fuel cost is crazy, the noise, and the, ga- the gas that was used for that plane is too, it was like too dangerous, you understand? So, when it comes to these planes, they're gonna do the same thing they did like with the car. They're gonna bust the, they're gonna bust the industry open like, wow, we, we in the building. We in the building, this is what it is now. Y'all, y'all better get on board, because y'all about to get ran over. Like, they're about to get ran over by Mack trucks with no brakes. And a horn don't even sound like a, a, a Mack truck horn. It sounds like a beep, beep. You know, like a little kid will have a bell on a little tricycle bike. That's the kind of horn it's going to have as it's coming through. <laughs> okay, whatever. I like looking at the awesome high Tesla. But, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at the all-time investment with Tesla. So even though I'm down right now, Eleven dollars ninety nine cent overall with Tesla, I made two hundred and fifty seven dollars. Come on, talk to me that. So when you see that nine thousand there, that means money that went in and out of Tesla. Okay. I'm currently right now I have eight hundred and twelve dollars that I'm trying to see double somehow, some way. Tesla, especially coming around uh, that battery day, and I don't know. Well, I don't know if you guys are aware, and I wasn't aware, but I'm aware now. Tesla, I mean not Tesla. Uh, Apple is coming up with a car of their own, of course. You know, they, you know they can't be left out. You know, they see these other companies popping out of nowhere, and they're like, listen, uh, I'm pretty sure they was at that round table, like, what are we going to do? 
It ain't too much to talk about testing right now. Because you already know what testing is. Like, well, what else are we going to say? Tell me. You tell me. Come on. Comment below. What else can these guys possibly come up with now that's going to be like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> one thing I can say about this CEO, Elon Musk, that man says, yo, I'm going to build a broom that will, will make coffee for you in the morning. He's going to build a broom that will make coffee for you in the morning. And it's going to be, a, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, this guy. All right, but another thing also, I, I, I change, you know me, I, you know, I know me, I always keep switching, switching my trading style. I'm trying to be more like uh, organized. I write, I write stuff down now, the night before, and as I'm going along while I'm trading, I'm writing everything down. I'm writing my sell points, the points where I got to add when it's low. Um, when I have more control, okay? I've been watching the show The Profit by Marcus Lamont. And one of the big thing, this is this applies all over in life. You gotta know your numbers. You gotta know your numbers. The numbers are very important. Like like I told y'all. Um in the beginning, you know, I was doing kind of I was getting some trades, but lo- losing more of my prospects because I didn't know what I was doing. And it made you know compared to now, now, I got a whole lot better, like so so much better. Now I just can't wait to have the large capital to be taking out the large profits. But I must say, the journey is worth it. Keep studying, keep studying, keep studying. And I was about to hit a point, and I didn't want to say I forgot. So I had to, I had to say keep studying. <laughs> and it come back in the next video. I'm going to show this BFC. I'm out of here. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for saying hi. I hope you guys are doing good trading. Hey, hey Valdez, thank you for all the tips. I'm going to, um, when I get some more cash to throw in here, I'm going to do that. All right? I appreciate it, brother. Talk to you, talk to you guys later.